Horror fans everywhere have been patiently waiting on A24 to announce the release date to the hotly anticipated sequel to Ty West's X, which came out in 2022. Mia Goth will reprise her role as Maxine Minx from X in the new film entitled Maxine, and it is said to follow Maxine in Los Angeles during the 80s as she continues to yearn for, for fame. And before we begin, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more horror content. Well, horror fans can finally breathe and have a solid release date to look forward to because this week A24 slated Maxine for release on July 5th, 2020. 24. This holiday weekend is usually a big one for movie going, so I'd say A24 feels pretty confident that they have a hit on their hands. Maxine, of course, is the third entry in this franchise after both X and its prequel Pearl were released back in 2022. With a modest $1 million budget, X was a relative hit, making just over $15 million worldwide. Pearl was slightly less successful, making $10 million against its identical budget of $1 million dollars, but it's fair to say that a lot of these two films' reverence and appreciation came after both of those films' runs in theaters, at least to some extent. So it will be interesting to see how much of an audience this film series has gained in the last two years. The budget for Maxine has not been reported yet, but I imagine it will be a significant bump from the first two movies' budgets. With this July 5th release date and what I presume to be an increased budget and a larger fan base, I'd be shocked if Maxine makes less than the first two. And the last time that A24 released a horror film for 4th of July weekend was 2019's Midsummer, which was a big hit for them grossing $48 million worldwide. Like I said before, Mia Goth will be reprising her role as Maxine, and she also co-wrote and produced the film with Ty West, according to Deadline. Last year in 2023, Mia Goth actually gave an interview where she discussed Maxine, where she said, quote, it's the best script of the three by far. It's going to be the best movie of the three. It's the biggest story with the highest stakes, and Maxine has gone through so much at this point. So when we find her in this new world, she's just a force to be reckoned with, and she goes through some pretty wild adventures. Also in the film is musician Halsey, who you see here in the only officially released image from the film so far. Maxine also stars Elizabeth Debicki, Moses Sumney, Michelle Monaghan, Bobby Cannavale, Lily Collins, Giancarlo Esposito, and Kevin Bacon. Now, those are the basics of what we know about the production, and I did go into a little bit more detail about the cast and the characters in my last Maxine video, so be sure to check that out if you missed that one. But for the rest of this video, I actually want to unpack a lawsuit that has come out of the production of Maxine, because it was very shocking to me, and not a lot of people have been talking about it. Before I jump into this lawsuit, of course this still needs to go to trial and um, I'm waiting on a verdict from a judge to jump to any conclusion, as this is just one side of the story. That being said, let's get into what the plaintiff is claiming occurred on the set of Maxine. So there was an extra on the film shoot of Maxine, who I will not be naming, but their name is public information in this lawsuit if you look it up or use my sources in the description, but to me it's not relevant to the story considering he is not a public figure. But an extra who was hired for the film has filed a lawsuit against Mia Goth, Ty West, and A24 for claims of battery and wrongful termination. According to the lawsuit, which was made public by Deadline, this extra had to act as a dead body lying in dirt during a scene where Mia Goth had to essentially run past him as he was lying on the floor. And during one take, Goth almost stepped on this extra, and this extra told the second AD on the film about the incident, and then Goth was informed to be careful of this extra. However, in the next take, the lawsuit alleges that Mia Goth then intentionally kicked the extra in the head, which resulted in a concussion. The extra then informed that same second AD about the injury, who then allegedly informed both Mia Goth and Ty West, who, like I said earlier, both have producer credits on this film, alongside Ty West being the director and co-writer, and Mia Goth being the leading actress and also co-writer. The lawsuit goes on to allege that Mia Goth then invaded this extra's privacy in a bathroom where she mocked him and dared him to do anything about the alleged kicking incident. 
This extra was also not provided with any medical care on or off set and was allowed to drive himself home despite having just experienced head trauma. The lawsuit also says that the next morning, uh, this extra was informed through an email that he was essentially fired from the shoot and he would no longer be needed to come in for filming. Like I said before, lawsuits can be tricky territory, so I encourage us to wait for a verdict from a judge because as you can see, I'm only working with one side of the story. And famously, there are always two sides to every story. At the end of the day, I hope that truth and justice eventually come to light on this situation. And if the and if this intentional assault and the bullying tactics described by the plaintiff did in fact happen, of course he deserves compensation for being treated so horrendously in a professional environment. Abuse of power on film sets is unfortunately very real, no matter the outcome of this case. So let's try and hold everyone to some higher standards and I'm looking at you too, AHS. All right, while there seems to be a lot of drama on and off the screen when it comes to Maxine, without a trailer being released just yet, I know I am just eager to see how this film will stack up against the first two films, which are some of my favorite horror films of recent years. But let me know what you guys think about Maxine, this new release date, and any other thoughts regarding this budding franchise in the comments below. And just before I go, I want to remind you guys that I released part one of my Scream Queens series in which I am breaking down the production history of Scream Queens. And now that we're kind of out of the pre-production realm, we're taking it episode by episode and breaking it down scene by scene, injecting all the crazy promotional material and any behind the scenes facts we have about the production of Scream Queens. It's a lot of fun. Part one is out now. Part two is going to be out to members very soon. Speaking of memberships, if you are not a member, consider joining for just $2. I've got some member exclusive videos coming soon including one about a show called scream queens not that scream queens there's a show from 2008 that is a reality tv competition series called scream queens and in that member exclusive video i will be breaking down that show so be sure to check that out give this video a like if you made it this far it will really help my chances getting recommended to other viewers subscribe for more horror content and i'll see you next time